So don't forget to follow me on Instagram, High Carb Health. Hit the follow button and click on the green H to see what I get up to. What I eat, what I do, it's all here. You can follow me and what I eat as well. So check it out guys. Hey guys, welcome to another video. And today we're going to be talking about high fat diets and inflammation. Something that we've been talking about for years. We have certainly been talking about for many, many years. It's coming up seven years for me now, being healed from seven osteoarthritis. Years. Yep, on a low fat diet. So, you know, I mean, the reason I'm making this video is because a study has just come out about the ketogenic diet. So they looked at a very, very high fat diet and they were looking at measuring inflammation in the body. Uh, the reason we really wanted to share this with you is because this is a randomized controlled trial. So this is the gold standard of studies. It's as good as you get. You don't get any better than this. You're taking two groups and you're case controlling everything except for their diet. So uh, this is you know a, a huge deal because there hasn't been a huge amount of study on the ketogenic diet. So uh, well, you know, we wanted to share with you this information, didn't we? So yeah, what, what were the what was the the findings from from this uh, study? What was the main sort of points that you you found or you you looked at that was interesting? Yes. Yeah, so well, what the researchers were doing was they were looking to measure the, any changes in inflammation when they uh, looked at two groups of people. So the first group of people, the baseline diet, where they fed people a diet which was 50% carbohydrate, 15% protein, and 35% fat. And, and this, actually, is, this is just a standard American diet, right? So it's, That's it's, pretty much a standard American diet. Yeah, yeah that, that's pretty so much meat, the, your meat the and three veg or whatever. Pretty or, much. Or not yeah, even that yeah, in so, America. <laughs> so what most people consider to be the worst diet, right? Yeah. The standard American diet, which is as bad as it gets. And sad so diet. That's, that's basically the sad diet. Yeah. That's basically the macronutrient ratio that they went with. Right. And then they measured that against the ketogenic diet, which was 80% fat, 10% pro, or, no, 15% protein, and 5% carbs. So right. exactly the opposite of what we do, pretty much. And... Um, and what yeah, so the the results were pretty pretty bad for the high fat diet, to be honest, man. Like significant increase in inflammation. I will put the results up on the screen for you guys. Significant increase in inflammation by switching from a standard American diet to a ketogenic diet. So, so, so you, it can't get any worse, right? But it just has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like. You know, you hear it all the time where, you know, like people saying that, you know, go on a high fat diet to reduce inflammation. But we're always asking them, show us the studies, you know, show us the studies that show that this is beneficial and we'll consider it. But no one ever does it. No one has ever yet showed us a study. So we're going to show you the study. Yeah. And you I know? think, yeah. And I think what a lot of people, um, you know, have anecdotal evidence, which is fine. I mean, we have a lot of anecdotal yeah. evidence, but we have the science to back it True. up as well. So it's like... That's the key. Yeah, That's the key. Like, can you, can you show your results and back that up with science? Because yeah. that's, that's the key. Um, and, and yes, we can, absolutely. And, and we'll stand by that. And, and just, to, just to reiterate, <laughs> I did a video on this, and you guys can check it out up in the, the, the left and right corners. Um, yeah. It's not only the diet that affects healing isn't that right so when we look at diet you know it's it's a part of healing for sure but there's so many other effects that go on in your life and so if the plant-based diet did not work for you it's definitely not the diet's fault because the the data is there the research is there showing that it leads to overall well-being and longevity and you can't really argue with that so there's definitely something happening inside of yourself that uh, you know, maybe you need to work on instead of the food that you eat. So just think about it. Yeah, that. absolutely. So you know, let's just go and, and read through the different results of the study because they didn't sure. just look at inflammation, they looked at some of the other things as well. They were looking at changes in glucose, lipids, and inflammation parameters. And in fact, all of those things went in the wrong direction for someone on a ketogenic diet. Okay, so uh, the results that they got were... Um, uh, during the ketogenic diet, the glucose area under the curve was significantly higher with both test meals. 
the insulin area under the curve was significantly higher. Uh, basically, what they said was insulin sensitivity decreased, which is not what you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, insulin sensitivity or insulin resistance basically causes diabetes. So that's what they were trying to get and to. Isn't, isn't the keto diet supposed to be supposedly good for insulin resistance? No. It's absolutely very bad for Yeah, but that's what they say, right? They say that it reduces your blood sugar, which it does do. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. That's because you're not eating carbs, you, right? <laughs> which, exactly. So obviously, how's it, you know, so diabetes is not an issue of blood sugar. It is. It's a issue of insulin resistance. Okay. So when you go on a ketogenic diet, because you don't eat any carbs, your blood sugar obviously will drop. But if you put any kind of carbs into your body, you're going to get a, a bigger spike than you had before because your fat, the fats uh, in your muscle cells has increased. So your it's insulin resistance has yeah, increased. It's blocking the, and the it's sugar making, it's, yeah. it's going to mean that your blood sugar is even higher than it was ever before. Um, <laughs> we also said that they had, they had increased cholesterol, which we knew that would be the case. And C-reactive protein, which was the marker for inflammation, significantly increased as well. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So, because uh, when you have class Crohn's disease, um, that's a really good indication of how much inflammation you have in your body. And uh, if those markers are going higher when you're eating meat uh, and high mm -hmm. fat, then um, your inflammation is going to be higher. Therefore, your disease is going to be more. So, yeah. I mean, so, I no, I what I you find is... What, yeah. Yeah, so what you find on these diets, man, is that people see some symptom relief, but you don't get what we call end organ benefit, which is healing of the body. Correct. And do you know what? <laughs> you know what I mean? This, this, so is like, the, this is the strangest thing. It's like, okay, meat, dairy, and eggs made you sick in the first place, so let's just eat more of it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doesn't make, it doesn't make sense, eh? It, does, it just doesn't make sense. Like, logic doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't compute from that point of view. Um <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so let's just talk about some of the other things that a high fat diet does, right? Because obviously now this is like the best kind of research you can do increases inflammation, right? Can't argue with that now. Um, and so what else that happens in high fat diet is so bad for your gut microbiome, isn't it? Fat I mean, chance, right? That's what the article says. <laughs> fat chance of having, having a healthy gut. <laughs> So, you know, one of the things that happens when you eat a high fat diet is that you produce a lot of bile, right? And then you get these type of bacteria that feed off the bile, the wrong type of bacteria, uh, bacteria such as Bilophilia wadsworthia, which is like one of the worst ones, growing in your gut, eating this bile, creating all sorts of dysbiosis in your gut and destroying um, any kind of good bacteria that you have in your body. It's, it's just like, do, do you think that that's what people blame candida for? Do you reckon that's, that's something that might be happening here? Because no one can prove that candida affects our body. You know, it still, it yeah. still hasn't been proven. So maybe that's what they, they have in their, in their gut. That's the type of bacteria well, they have. And it ruins possibly. them. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, possibly. Possibly for sure. But it ruins their gut. We also, know that, we also know that candida, like say it does get into your blood, right? It feeds off sugar. And how are you going to get increased blood sugar? Insulin resistance, yeah. which is again caused by high fat. So, again, a high fat diet is even bad if you've got candida. It's like the wrong thing to do. Yeah. It's like the opposite of what you need to do. Do, do, do you know what else? Increase. Do you know what's, what else is quite funny as well? It's like there's this whole sort of new research coming about gut health, right? So, yeah. This article actually suggests like how many people have just gone onto this bandwagon and they're starting to sell all these bacterial, good bacteria, mm. bad bacteria, good bacteria, you know, <clears throat> probiotics. Oh, yes. Try to recommend healthy fats and things like that as well. Yeah. For your gut. It's like, it's like, where's this coming from? And, and honestly, who's making money out of it? You know, like that's what you got to, mm. you got to break it down to mm. how much money is being made by all these selling of these mm, yeah. products and things. Yeah. Here's the other thing, and this is something that we've been talking about for ages, okay? When you eat a high-fat diet, okay? And, and the article by Robin Tudor, who we've had on our channel, you can, you can check out some of the videos that um, she's already been in. But 
I just want to read you a specific section because we've been talking about this for a while and now it's been backed up by the scientific research, okay? So when you eat a high fat diet, obviously you eat a lot of saturated fat, okay? This uh, forms a raft that transports lipopolysaccharides or LPS, we'll call them LPS, um, derived from grand negative bacteria inside our gut, through our gut wall and into the capillaries that wrap around our gut and from there into our systemic circulation. Increased LPS in our blood circulation is called metabolic endotoxemia. Endotoxemia. How many times have we call, talked about toxemia? How many times have we talked about detoxing the body? Okay. It triggers low-grade inflammation. Oh, you get toxemia in the body that creates inflammation, which is actually your body trying to heal and get rid of the toxicity. It's also been linked to metabolic syndrome, depression, and even a type of brain damage, which makes it hard for overweight people to lose weight. Okay, so high fat diet causes toxicity in the body. This is like what we've been saying for ages. This is how our program works. This is how we heal people or we help people heal themselves is by getting rid of the toxicity that comes that, with That's this. right. And, and do, hey, there's a question that I got asked um, on uh, my Instagram and feel free to uh, message me on Instagram, by the way. Um, someone asked that... What about a vegan keto diet where it's like no animal products but plant fats? Mm. Um, I, yeah. I would assume that they would have a similar effect um, in terms of too much yeah. fat maybe, in, in your bio. Maybe not as bad for you, but I, I don't think it's, it's, it's a healthy diet. You know, um, well, your, your body will still be producing more bile, right, to digest the fat. So that's going to yeah, create those yeah. gut bacteria that you don't want anyway. Regardless, yeah, of you definitely will get not. some dysbiosis with that. But you're also getting a lot more fiber on the vegan keto diet. You which are. you don't get on the other diet. So it might kind of counterbalance some of that stuff. Right. Uh, but, but the thing is, the, the research suggests that a high-carb, low-fat wins in all accounts, right? So if you're thinking yeah. about a high-fat diet, even if it's vegan, yeah. you think again because it's not healthy, it's not for longevity. And the mm. you know what, what's the, what's the um, diet that's it most been studied, ever been studied? It's the the high carb low fat whole food plant based diet, isn't it? Well, that's that's been proven to be the healthiest diet ever studied. Study, definitely, yeah. yeah, it's been not, you know, not the vegan longest keto. living. No, the longest living population is the uh, vegan Adventist population in Loma Linda in California. So right. they have the highest life expectancy of any population in the world. So, I mean, basically, being on a plant based diet, a low fat plant based diet shows you can have the longest life expectancy. Right. Um, so definitely the best thing to do. It's the only diet in the world that has been shown to prevent and reverse heart disease. It's the only diet in the world that's scientifically proven to prevent and reverse diabetes. It's the only diet in the world that has been shown to uh, start to reverse cancer, like Dr. Dean Ornish did some work on prostate cancer, and he actually saw that the, the tumor was shrinking. Dr. T. Colin Campbell did uh, experimental studies where he showed that you could reverse or re like you shrink turn the tumors. On off, right? He could turn it on and yeah. off. Yeah, you can turn it on and off by just the amount of protein that you, or the casein, which is the main protein in cow's milk, that you feed the tumor. So, and it grows, it um, grows the, yeah, it grows, right? The IGF-1, which is an mm. insulin-like growth factor in all milk, cow's milk. And, uh, you know, yeah. for people out there that are drinking raw milk, I would kind of just, you know, think twice about what you're drinking. Um, yeah, again, it's high have. fat. It's a high fat food, right? So you're going to start what? to create the same kind who, of saturated fat. Who was it? Doctor Doctor John McDougall suggested that it was liquid meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's got yeah, the same absolutely. same amount of cholesterol, even more cholesterol and, and saturated fat than than meat. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. So I mean, I guess that's that's kind of what we're coming down to. Like all the research that we've been studying, I don't know where these other people are getting their ideas from, but. I still haven't seen a study that supports a high fat diet for health reasons. And how, just, many, and how many do we see that support a whole food plant based low fat diet? How many? Thousands. How many do we see it? Thousands. And, thousands. And they've compared thousands. both of them together as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, what, what do you want to feed your body? Inflammation or health? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's simple. And, and our results are speaking for themselves. Like, they're justifying the science that we've been sharing with you guys on this channel for years now. So at the end of the day, 
you've you got to think about okay do i want to do um you know if I, do i want to hear good things about my bad habits or do i want to actually understand the scientific research that's out there okay so we here we have a randomized control trial that shows that a high fat ketogenic diet significantly increases inflammation in the body correct okay and it's the, it's um, the best it's the best study done out there you know it's it's yeah that's that's the gold standard right of any kind of study that been that is compiled together uh, yeah. in the research and this is this is it you know what more could you ask for exactly so i mean i don't know i don't know if there needs to be any more debate on this topic man like a high fat diet is like the worst thing well, there's, always worse than there's always going to be someone there's always going to be someone that goes oh no that that's not the right amount of fat that you should eat or oh, this and that and mm. <laughs> Yeah, and you can't help that, okay? But you know, at the end of the day, you just got to judge by the results. Uh, and the overwhelming level of evidence as well that supports a whole foods plant based diet. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess you guys are watching this video. If you have any other questions about uh, the topic that we're discussing now, or anything else that you'd like us to discuss, in the comment section below, guys, ask the questions you know and we'll make videos to, to discuss the topics and it's um, it's also not our opinion as well it's, yeah it's yeah it's research that's been done by many scientists and many researchers mm. we're just mm. reproducing mm. that for you guys and, and, and you know the best thing i like about the study and i'll show you the 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 screenshot of it now that there are no conflicts of interest okay it's not sponsored it's not paid by the meat industry or the dairy industry or the vegetable industry it's not okay um, is just people who want good science doing the research and looking into different things. Um, but yeah, I guess, you know, guys, if you like that video, if you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Tell us in the comments that you want to see more videos like this. Um, subscribe to the channel to see more videos and hit that little bell notification because that uh, will give you email updates uh, to tell you that we've uploaded a new video. Awesome. I well, guess. Yeah, well, that's all, right? That's all we've got to say today. I think that's all we've we got to say. Thanks. Saying. Thank you so much for tuning yeah. in, guys, and thanks for watching this video. And I hope you found it useful. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, yeah?